Welcome back now. Erin Berger spent the better part of a decade playing international netball for South Africa. She has now swapped careers and is busy training to become a triathlete. But the COVID-19 pandemic has, of course, been frustrating for many of us. Erin joins us now via Zoom to tell us all about her new venture. Erin, good evening to you. Thank you so much for making the time uh, to chat with us. I must first start by saying compliments of the season. I think we can still say that. Uh, we do have my colleague on, on Skype with us, also Liam Dalcom, and let's get straight into it. You spent very many years, Erin, um, playing netball. You've now made quite a switch to being um, a triathlete. How did we get you? Um, yes, uh, first of all, I've been blessed to play for the Pratikas for quite some time, and um, I feel that I'm lucky to have such a long career. But I knew that if I wanted to retire, I would have to get something else to really work for. And I didn't want to just go um, from being an almost professional athlete where you're used to training and then um, you know, just go to lying on the couch and not being active because I love that part of sport, being active and outdoors and you know, feeling like you did something. So then I decided okay, a big challenge would be to actually try and do a triathlon. So um, I actually did one already off Ironman, and we were planning on do it, doing another one in Jan, but that got postponed. So talk to me a bit about the um, adjustments that you've had to make. You know, netball versus being a triathlete, I'm sure that your training regime is completely different for these two. Yes, definitely. Um, obviously, with team sport, you have a lot of people around you the whole time, and you're not in your own age that much. With triathlon, it's you on your own. You're in your own head while you're running, while you're on the bike, while you're swimming. So you have a lot of time to actually think. And one part of me actually like it in the sense that you need to have a strong head and you can actually, um, I almost want to say quit or decide not to do it at any time. And you have to motivate yourself. Whereas if you're in a team, you kind of have your friends that also motivate you. So yeah. um, it's been a big mind shift, but I kind of like the challenge. I quickly want to rope uh, Liam in here. I know he's got a question for you. I was actually going to ask you about that, that, that fascinating dynamic about being in a team sport and then leaving that for an individual sport, uh, which, I mean, that yeah. puts you in a different headspace altogether. Uh, but I, I'll have to change that. What I need to ask you now is... <laughs> Uh, in terms of the disciplines that, that you involved in, um, what is the strong point? Is it, is it the running? Is it the cycling? Is it in the water? What, what is your, your strong point? Um, yeah, I think it is a bit the running because I used to run a lot with the netball as well. So for the last few years, um, I was blessed to actually work with Sports Science Lab. So I got used to running a bit more because when I started out playing netball, I always thought that running wasn't part of netball. And I didn't want to do any long jogs or easy runs. And then to the end of my career, I actually figured out, well, through Sports Science Lab, my training more effective and that we actually all need to run a little. So um, I think running would be my strongest suit of the three. Um, I, I saw, Erin, though, you played center, you played wing attack. I think you did wing defense as well. So that is quite a bit of um, um, activity. I used to play netball. I played center too. But, you know, I've put that behind me. Totally unfit. Not on your level. Um, so I'm sure you are aware that netball in South Africa has been suspended. It was suspended immediately until further notice. And, of course, with you being a, formal, a former netball player, um, what does this halt, you know, because of COVID-19, of course, mean for not only the sport but the individual players as, as, as well? Yeah, um, I, we all can be honest about this. It is a confusing time. It's a scary time. It's, I think the fact that we're unsure about so many things make um, things difficult. But I also think that uh, COVID shouldn't be an excuse. And I think this is one of the best times to actually become the best person, athlete you can be. So I hope that the girls are still training, and I'm sure they are. Um, to represent your country is such a big honor and you want to be the best. So um, I think you actually have time now to work on things that you don't usually get time for. But I, yeah, I have to be honest, the uncertainty of when we'll be able to play again, it also plays a part in staying motivated. So um, I think a good plan is to actually have small goals in between and to try and um, reach them even though there's not a match. Because obviously you always work towards a game or to a tournament and now there's nothing to work like that that you know for sure is going to happen 
so you'll have to get small goals. Um, but I don't think it's time to um, not train or not work hard. I think it's the best time to actually become the best person or athlete that everyone can be. I like the positive spin that you've put on that, Erin, you know, because um, Australia and New Zealand, of course, are currently still playing. So I like that you say, even though uh, Nepal has been suspended, it is time to focus um, on, on, on yourself and your training. So I'm sure they can still, um, in different ways, prepare for the World Cup in uh, 2023. Now, for you, also with the COVID-19 uh, limitations that we have, how easy is it going to be for you to get back into uh, being a triathlete? Um, well, we've got a lot of time now, so, um, but uh, yeah, I think, like I just mentioned, it is a good time for you to actually work and spend time on things that you usually don't get time for. Um, I think there's a lot of people that think they can only start when the COVID rules are back to normal, if we can say normal. Um, and I think they're going to be really far behind. So um, I think yeah, it's a good time to keep at it, get small goals and um, keep on working for it. And I'm sure the Pratias are also working hard for that uh, next World Cup. Erin, thank you so much for making the time. We have unfortunately run um, out of time. Coming up on Sunday Sport, former Springbok utility back Johan Huisen is reported to be headed to Loftus. We'll get Liam's take on that. Stay with us.